Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, business, technology, and more. But more about that at the end of the video. So today's video is kind of for past me. I used to be a very, very messy person, or at least when it came to my bedroom, I was known for having a really messy bedroom. My university bedroom was a constant, just, explosion of clothes and stuff everywhere and for the most part it was to do with the amount of stuff I had but also I just built up lots of lazy and bad habits. I was also okay when it came to cleaning the kitchen and the bathroom but my weakness was picking my clothes up after myself. So if you are looking to go from messy to organized then I really think things like minimalism will help you as well as some of the tips in this list so let's get into it. The first thing that I definitely changed when I was trying to become a more organised human being was to ditch the later mentality. Often we put off things that really would only take us about 5-10 minutes and it ends up getting a lot messier. So if you have taken your clothes off or if you've just done, um, done some cooking, do the washing up now, pick that item of clothing up now and have that kind of attitude towards things. Sometimes you really don't feel like it. Sometimes I really don't feel like picking up things or tidying up now but I thank myself later. The second thing that I have definitely implemented into my routine is finding a time to tidy. I really love just giving the house a nice little tidy up before bed and then it means when I wake up in the morning I'm waking up to a clean home. That means the kitchen's always tidy, the living space, I fluff up the pillows, put the rug right, put all the stuff away in the drawers and it kind of keeps my house clean at all times and tidy at all times. So find a time in your day where it would make sense to have a routine to just give everything a bit of a tidy. Maybe that's the morning when you wake up, maybe it's the evening and you'll probably notice that things just don't get so messy and so on top of you. So the third thing is to use storage as a way to organize things rather than to hide things away. So that means no junk drawers. It may seem even obvious to say use your storage to organize your things, but I think it's really common to use storage boxes to just put things away, out of sight, out of mind, and not think about them again until you move house or something. So I really try to make sure that things like drawers or storage underneath my bed has a purpose and there are things in there that I use and that I need and there's nothing that's hiding away in there. So definitely if you have one of those boxes or if you have a junk drawer, go to it, have a little rummage through and try and find a way that you can organize those things rather than hide them. So number four is to keep your surfaces as clear as possible from things. Now this doesn't mean getting rid of everything on every surface in your home, but for example, my desk, on my desk, I'm looking at it now, it has a plant, it has a candle, it has a light and it has some pens and I keep it as simple as that. I try to keep things like my notepads, my camera equipment, cables, that type of thing in drawers away so that everything feels a lot more tidy and organized. Similarly in the kitchen, I only have appliances out that I use on a daily basis. So things like my kettle and my blender and everything else is away in the cupboard. And it definitely makes a lot less clutter and it makes everything feel a lot tidier. So another thing that is so, so important, probably the most important thing on this list I would say, is to get rid of some stuff. Because ultimately what made a difference for me in my life from going from really messy to organized was getting rid of stuff. When you have loads of stuff, it's really hard to keep it tidy. So if you are sat watching this video at your desk or in your living room or whatever, maybe highlight a place in your home that you can see right now that is really messy and there's loads of stuff on it that you don't use and you don't want and set aside a time to sort that out and get rid of some things because the likelihood is a lot of that stuff you're not using or you don't need in your life or it doesn't add value. So think about that and do a bit of a declutter. I have a lot of videos on my channel all about decluttering. So wherever it is in your home that's your weakness, maybe it's your wardrobe, you can check those out up here. Number six is to use stuff up. I used to go out and buy new things before necessarily checking whether I already had one of those things in the cupboard. So a lot of the time I'd run out of toothpaste and I'd run out to the shops to get some new toothpaste, forgetting that actually I had already done that and there was a toothpaste in the cupboard 
underneath the sink or I would go out and get new notepads for a start term at university or school forgetting that I actually had an old notepad that was sitting in the drawer that hadn't even been touched. So why not go through your cupboards, find out the things in there that you haven't used and bring them to the front, put them in your cupboards so that you actually use them. Often it's the case that we buy new stuff constantly over and over and over, creating more clutter when we actually already have what we need in our house. Another thing is to try introducing cleaning habits bit by bit. Don't overwhelm yourself expecting to go from a really messy person to the most organized, perfect human being out there because it won't happen and you'll probably give up and go back to being a messy person. So maybe in your mind just think, I'm really bad at putting my clothes away and there's always piles of clothes everywhere in my house. So from now on, I'm gonna always put my clothes away when I take them off. Or if you're really bad at doing the washing up and it builds up, try and set yourself the goal of doing the washing, washing up as you go. So whatever example that is appropriate to you, try doing that and just doing that one thing and you'll probably notice a huge change in your life. It's all about setting a habit and sometimes we just get into lazy habits, get into messy habits and you can swap them for an organized one. Number eight is to find a place for everything. This kind of links in with what I said before about making sure you don't use cupboards to hide stuff. So make sure that everything has its place in your home. I know where everything is in my home and that didn't used to be the case. I had to change that about myself. I used to rummage through my drawers trying to find something because I had absolutely no idea where it was and there'd be junk drawers and things lying around that I'd be like, I don't know where to put this. I have no place for this. So have a little bit of a rejig, go through your stuff and make sure that there is a place for everything that you use and that you need. Number nine is to not let things pile up. This is a definite bugbear in my relationship. I'm sorry, Alex, but he likes to leave piles of things. I think this is his way of organizing, but I just think it's better if you have things building up in a pile to deal with them now rather than think about dealing with them later, like I mentioned before. So if you have a pile of clothes building up, just tackle them now and put them away. Same with washing, same with I don't know, receipts or whatever. Don't let those piles build up and instead just get it done now. And finally, a point that I really, really wanna emphasize and that is to work on it step by step and not expect things to be perfect overnight. It is so easy to fall into a perfectionist mindset. I'm like that and it's, I'm an all or nothing person. So if everything's messy, I'm just like, well, it's all messy, what's the point? and then I'll tidy it and I'll be messy. Well, that's what I used to do anyway, I don't do that anymore. But it's just better to take it step by step, like I mentioned, introduce new habits bit by bit and see how you go. If everything is absolute chaos for you right now in your life and your, your bedroom's a mess, your house is a mess, or your computer's a mess, whatever, just start and take it step by step and over time things will become a lot more organized. It's not something that you need to stress over, it's only gonna improve your life. So take it step by step and make it an enjoyable process. Nobody is perfect, I'm not perfect, my house sometimes gets messy, things sometimes get out of control because life sometimes gets out of control. But for the most part, my life is so much more organized and so much more tidy ever since introducing minimalism since reducing and since having a bit more of a mindful approach to being organized and to being tidy. Let me know in the comments below if you're a messy or if you're an organized person and what areas you need to tackle and we can all help each other out. If I was to show you what my sofa looks like right now, there are lots of little things here that I'm using for work today, like my hard drive, my notepad, my wallet, my passport, because I'm going to Barcelona tomorrow and yeah, life isn't perfect behind this setup, so don't expect yours to be. Today's video was sponsored by Skillshare, who are an online learning community. They have thousands of classes from things like design, business, photography, technology. They even have a whole section on entrepreneurship, which really caught my eye. I know that so many of you guys who are watching always ask me how to start a YouTube channel, how to work online, how to be self-employed. So this section is great for that. So Skillshare offers premium membership, which gives you unlimited access to all of these high quality classes. They're all done by experts in the field and therefore you can improve on the skills that you wanna improve on. Skillshare is actually also really affordable. It's under $10 a month for an annual subscription, which is a lot cheaper than a lot of other learning platforms. So if you're interested in learning more in 
gaining more skills in understanding entrepreneurship, business, photography, whatever it is that you've been meaning to learn more about, Skillshare have offered the first 500 people who click the link in the description two months for free, which is so, so cool. So all the information is down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.